Hey everyone, Stephen here. And I was just reflecting this morning on how many things have changed in our lives and how rapidly they're changing just in the last couple days, last week, last couple weeks. Last night, Emma and I got some takeout and uh, we actually took the, the takeout food out of the containers and we've been wiping down things. And I mean, just e even a week ago, I could not have imagined doing some of the things that we're doing now. Um, it's kind of dizzying. It's uh, disorienting and confusing for some of us. It feels like we're trying to catch our breath and, and just keep up with the pace of change. And so I thought it would be a helpful exercise um, to, to, to reflect on some things that have not changed over the course of the last week, two weeks, and more. Um, and so I have five from the Bible, five things that have not changed. And I want to encourage this to be maybe an instigation for you to search the scriptures to see some things that have not changed. Five things that have not changed in the last couple of weeks. Number one, God himself has not changed. God is unchanged. Revelation chapter one, verse eight, I am the alpha and the omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the almighty. Hebrews 13, eight, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 9, 14, talks about the eternal spirit. So Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are unchanging. They are the same. They have not changed over the past couple of weeks. Second thing that hasn't changed, God's love for us has not changed. First Chronicles 16, 34, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. It's steadfast, and it endures forever. Deuteronomy 7, 9, Know, know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. So God's love for us has not changed. Third, God's purpose for us hasn't changed. Hebrews 6, 17. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise, the unchangeable character of his purpose, he guaranteed it with an oath, so that by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to hold fast to the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul. So God's purpose for us hasn't changed, which means that our hope hasn't changed. Number four, our salvation has not changed. Peter speaks in 1 Peter 1, 4 of an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. It's not any different. It's not any less than it was before coronavirus. And then finally, love. The love that God has for us and the love that God works in us hasn't changed. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8, verse 13, love never ends. So now faith, hope, love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. So there, those are five things that are unchanging in a world that is rapidly changing. And I wanna encourage you this morning to go to the Bible and search yourself for some, some unchanging realities uh, you know, in a world that, where it's like every day there's a new thing coming at us. Look for some pillars that sink deep down into bedrock. Find them in the Bible and meditate upon them and build your life upon them today.